Netflix's Sandman series just cast its Morpheus. So 2020's just been this long, waking nightmare, but finally we have some good sleep-related news on the horizon. And no, I didn't get a weighted blanket, yet. Rather, Netflix's adaptation of Neil Gaiman's The Sandman series may have finally found its lead actor. So according to a report from Collider, this long gestating series that's been deep in the throes of the REM cycle of development hell and coronavirus delays has tapped Tom Sturridge to play the role of Dream, aka Morpheus, aka the eponymous Sandman. The far from the madding crowd and sweet bitter star reportedly beat out Paul Dark's Tom York and Merlin's Colin Morgan for this highly coveted role. And while James McAvoy played Morpheus in Audible's audio adaptation earlier this year, Sturridge would be the first actor to portray Dream in live action. Nerdist reached out to Netflix for confirmation about this, but we didn't hear back at the time of taping. We'll keep you updated on the dot com. So for those who have been living under a rock or imprisoned by occult forces, The Sandman is based on one of the most critically acclaimed comics of all time. Written by Neil Gaiman and published by DC Comics' sadly now defunct Vertigo imprint, The Sandman ran for 75 issues between 1989 and 1996. The series follows Dream, also known as Morpheus, who, as his name would suggest, rules over our dreams. Dream is one of the endless, this group of anthropomorphic metaphysical beings that also include death, desire, destiny, despair, delirium, and destruction. So in other words, it's all about that D. After being held prisoner for 70 years, Morpheus breaks free, finds his kingdom in disrepair, and must recover his stolen artifacts. The series incorporated everything from horror to fantasy to mythology to tell a series of surreal, otherworldly tales. Which kind of feels like quarantine when I read it out like that. Anyway, this casting news comes hot on the heels of Neil Gaiman's teasery social media post on Sunday. It's starting to feel real. We begin shooting in three weeks, lockdowns permitting, Gaiman tweeted along with a snippet of the script. Now, The Sandman was originally supposed to begin production in May 2020, but obviously that was pushed back because of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. So, I don't know, make like old school dream and wear a mask. Speaking with Digital Spy, Gaiman confirmed that the Netflix adaptation will begin in 2021, so Morpheus will have been kept prisoner in the Netflix version for 105 years rather than 70 years. And Gaiman also clarified those comments further in August during the Sandman Universe panel at DC Fandom. What we're doing with Netflix is it's still going to start in 1916, but the thing that happened in Sandman, the point that the story starts, is not 1988, it's now. And how does that change the story? What does that give us? What does that make us have to look at that we wouldn't have had to look at if we were setting it as a period piece? What does that do to the gender of characters, the nature of characters? What does it actually do to the story? And that has been an absolute delight because it means that we're always being true to the story and being true to the characters, but it gives us tremendous freedom to go, if we're doing it now, what would Sandman be? And that has been very liberating. So as I mentioned earlier, this show's been in the works for a long, long time. In fact, before it was a show, Warner Brothers tried to turn it into a movie. Back in the late 90s, Pulp Fiction co-writer Roger Avery was going to direct, working with Pirates of the Caribbean screenwriters Ted Elliott and Terry Rossio, but obviously that never came to pass. At a San Diego Comic-Con panel in 2007, Gaiman said, I'd rather see no Sandman movie made than a bad Sandman movie, but I feel like the time for a Sandman movie is coming soon. Now, spoiler alert, it was not. In 2013, New Line struck a deal with Joseph Gordon-Levitt to direct and star in a feature film adaptation of this comic, but that too was mired in development woes. In 2016, they tapped a rival writer, Eric Heiserer, to rewrite the script, but then JGL left the project, and it all kind of felt like a bad dream until last year. In July 2019, Netflix announced they'd be turning this seemingly unadaptable series into a TV show. The Sandman is written and executive produced by Neil Gaiman, David S. Goyer, and Alan Heinberg, the last of which will be serving as showrunner as well. The series received an 11-episode order, which sounds appropriately weird for a series as surreal as The Sandman. While other details about this show are presumably imprisoned in whatever occult rituals used to trap Dream in the first place, we imagine we're going to be learning more awfully soon, especially if they start shooting next month, like Gaiman said. In the meantime, we'll keep you updated over on Nerdist.com. But in the meantime, tell me, what do you think of this casting? Who else would you like to see star in the Sandman Netflix series? Let's discuss in the comments below, and for the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, make sure you stay tuned to Nerdist.com.